Are you going on a vacation? But not sure who will take care of your cat while you're away? As a cat owner, I am always anxious when I leave my cats, Timo and Arya alone. Timo and Arya mean the world to me, and I want them to be well taken care of. Today, we will explore the various options you have for cat care when you're away on vacation. I'll also list the pros and cons of each option and which option I use for Timo and Arya at the end of the video. One option is to have a family member, close friend, or neighbor that you really trust take care of your cat when you're gone. Someone who will care for your cat like you would. Ideally, these are people who know your cat and who your cat is familiar with. This is usually the cheapest option and best option. Unfortunately, this option is not always available. There may also be some downsides. If you ask a neighbor or a friend who lives nearby, they can probably come over more often than a paid professional, but they may see looking after your cat more as a favor rather than a job. As a result, they might not be as responsible as someone that is being paid. So keep all these things in mind when you choose someone to take care of your cat. The second option is to take your cat to a pet boarding facility. What is pet boarding? Pet boarding is where you take your cat to a facility away from home for an overnight stay or longer. These lodging facilities often are called pet hotels or pet boarding facilities. Cats usually have their own rooms if you choose a good pet boarding facility. There are some pros and cons with choosing this option. Placing your cat in an unfamiliar place requires a high degree of trust. Your cat may have a difficult time staying at the pet boarding facility. Unfamiliar sounds and smells from other cats and humans can be overwhelming and extremely stressful for most cats. Most cats don't like it when their routine is disrupted and they rarely enjoy being away from home. This is something you should consider when choosing this option. The pet boarding facility must have a very good reputation and specialize in cats. I recommend you read every negative review to get a sense of what are some problems you may expect. Problems I have seen include overcrowding. Some cat hotels want to maximize profit. They would overbook rooms and have your cat share the room with other cats even though you paid for a private room. Not only are you not getting what you paid for, but there is a risk of illness and injury from exposure to other cats. Your cat can also catch fleas. A good pet boarding facility will require all cats to be on flea control and have their vaccines up to date. Some facilities do not have cameras and don't update you on your cat. For all you know, your cat may be sick or not even fed. Some places are so overbooked that they forget to feed your cat or simply don't care. Being able to see your cat on camera is essential to knowing whether your cat is being treated well. These are some of the reoccurring negative reviews I read over and over again at subpar pet boarding facilities. One of the pros with using a good boarding facility is some locations have a vet that they can call on. This is especially helpful if your cat is old and has chronic medical issues that require medications and constant monitoring. Another pro is if you're wary about strangers coming to your home, taking your cat to a boarding facility will address those concerns. Surprisingly, the pet boarding option is more expensive in the city of San Francisco than having a cat sitter come to your home, which is the next option we'll explore. For example, the top rated cat boarding facility in San Francisco costs on average roughly $61 for the cheapest room per night 
which is around 20 square feet. That is tiny. They also charge an additional $36 for each cat. That would be $97 for Timo and Aria. While using the top rated cat sitter in San Francisco, it costs about $45 per visit for two cats. Timo and Aria require two visits a day since they have a raw meat diet. So that only adds up to $90 a day and they live in the comfort of their home, which is still cheaper than the boarding option. So unless your cat is old and needs medical attention, I wouldn't recommend a pet boarding facility. If you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner. So please join us. If you're unable to get a friend or family to watch your cat, visits by a professional cat sitter you trust is your best option. Your cat will get to stay at home, saving them the stress of traveling and staying in an unfamiliar place. In addition, staying away from other pets will reduce the risk of exposure to illness. So what does a cat sitter usually do? A visit typically includes cleaning the litter box, feeding your cat, and changing the water. Depending on your cat sitter, they may also play with your cat, administer medications, clean any kitty accidents, or trim your cat's nails. They may also, if requested, collect your mail, water your plants, or take out the trash. If you're uncomfortable with a stranger in your home, I recommend having security cameras in your house. Not only will you know when the cat sitter is doing their job and coming regularly to feed your cat, you can also know what your cat is up to when you're away from home. Does my cat look sick and need medical attention? Cameras can help us monitor and record our cats 24 seven, keeping our cats safe and healthy. In my home, there are four cameras around the house to capture every angle. Two of the cameras are from PetCube. They are interactive pet cameras that allow me to toss treats or use a laser pointer to play with my cats, allowing me to bond with my cats even if I am thousands of miles away. All of the cameras also allow me to speak to my cats. Timo? Aria? I think you got it. If Aria looks sad, I can talk to her and cheer her up and even throw her a treat. Knowing your cat is happy and in good hands while you're away will allow you to enjoy your vacation or work trip without worrying about your beloved pet. If you're interested in the cameras I use, I will link it in the description below. When choosing your cat sitter, make sure to read all the reviews carefully. Preferably, you want a local business that specializes in cat sitting and has a good reputation over many years. This is important. A stranger will be coming into your home to take care of your baby. A good cat sitting business will have done a thorough background check on their cat sitters. This is to prevent stories like a pet sitter kidnapping your cat and reselling it. After choosing your cat sitter, you'll meet the cat sitter to go through your cat's routine and care and exchange keys. Don't forget to leave notes. Many cat sitters will text or email you a written report and even photos letting you know how your cat is doing each day so you don't worry while you're away. For Timo and Aria, I use a professional cat sitter when I go on vacation. Here are some of Timo and Aria's photos when I use the cat sitter. I always enjoy reading what the cat sitter writes. It seems Timo tried to do a DoorDash today. He really likes going outdoors. I like that Timo and Aria get to stay at home, have care customized to their needs, 
and I can watch over them with my cameras. It is also cheaper than boarding my cats. Lastly, when choosing a cat sitter, make sure they have insurance as it helps cover any unforeseen costs or damages. Also provide your cat's vet to the cat sitter in case there's a medical emergency. Whatever option you decide, make sure to book your cat care well in advance of your vacation. This is especially important ahead of busy travel periods, such as holidays, as cat sitters and boarding facilities get booked up. While you're away, you can make your cats even more comfortable with a cat bed from Timo and Aria's cat store, thecatbutler.co. Your cats will be well rested when you come home. I'll link the store in the description below. What do you do with your cats while you're away? Let us know in the comments below.